All right, YouTube, so. All I did was I just found the center mark, roughly, so I'm just gonna clean up all around this. That thing sounds so healthy. And then this right here, I actually need to cut in half, but we're just gonna weld it like that. Probably bevel this, cause I don't, I don't know how much that thing's gonna penetrate into this old boy. But uh, so it was nice of him to let me use his garage. I'm very thankful. I don't really feel like this has to be like a super even thing. Forgive me for all you technical folk out there who think it should be, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's a $25 uh, yard roller. Yeah, that's, uh, that thing's pretty rough, rough shape. I think I bought some somewhere. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's kind of cool because I get to use some different tools and kind of give you guys a review on how they go. Uh, my normal viewers kind of know I'm a DeWalt fan. All my power tools are DeWalt. Well, damn, close. All my power tools are DeWalt. Just kind of the, you know, but again, the stuff I use it for versus what he kind of uses this stuff for is I'm trying to support myself on it. <sighs> He's just supporting a hobby. Gosh, I hope that didn't just break, man. This stuff's cheap. You know, so. Oh, duh. He's just kind of supporting a hobby. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I think the garage setup and everything he has works fine for him. He's uh, had a few pretty cool projects. If came through here, turned out pretty sweet. So, how wrong can he be doing it? You know, he's just a guy with a family who enjoys his hobby, and so he does what he can afford. nice and tight. Find that handy get handy extension cord. Um, you probably won't see many projects here. We were just kind of traveling here for Labor Day. Excuse me. Memorial Day weekend. And I thought, hey man, this is a good time to uh, do a project. Do a tool. Tool review and all that. So, here we are.
but see how close my eyeballing is. Yeah, it's only three quarters of an inch off. It's better than normal. So after cutting that, I realized I should be wearing safety glasses. Hmm. I know, I know. I preach safety a lot, but it's just kind of a completely random video. Went to tractor supply and I was trying to just get, you know, stuff I could think of that I knew I need, but well, maybe I messed up. But at least, I mean, for right now, a lot of our grind is not even close to done. I'm not going to lie and say that. <laughs> Alright. So now I'm going to put these little pieces in. Ooh, actually, I need to bevel them. So I'm going to come over here to his tool shop 1980s bench grinder. all that good. Probably took a quarter of an inch off. I mean, you know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not expecting perfection out of this welder. I don't really know what it's capable of doing. So, who knows, maybe this won't even be near enough. Yeah, that thing.
thing slows down. Slow. All right. So, that's kind of where we're at. So let me come back over here, grab my pen, and my tape measure. I think for like every one thousandth of a second, I was taken off of that uh, rod. I think I was taking three thousandths of that stone off. So I'm just kind of lining up eyeball length. I want it to be close to the middle as possible. But I don't really expect this thing to be perfect. All right. Sure. I gotta figure out. Hmm. I'm not gonna clamp this. I wonder if he's got some kind of a net that I can thread down there. These look like bolts. Hopefully, bolts of small importance. Hmm, eh, should have thought of this earlier. Yep. Yep. Hmm. I just need enough to tack it. Okay, loud bench grinder again. I can only completely express how little trust I have in that. But well, who knows? It might work. So on this side, I want the smaller of the two. This one. So just want to give it a tack. Tells me maximum is exactly where we want to be on this. Oh gosh, here we go. that tax day gosh it almost seems like that one might actually make it stay so my first tack wow yep YouTube you're seeing it here this thing uh, hmm. it's not that good so I bet when we put it on this grinder them welds are just gonna fly off no, no, that one penetrated at least some. But I mean, I just barely punked it. So we're not penetrating into the base metal. 
Well, nobody likes a quitter. So one really important thing about welding YouTube is ventilation. Ventilation's important. Especially when you're welding metals that are like, I don't really know what this is, man. Yeah, then some might even call it extra important. The best screwdrivers in the freaking What is this? Why?